What do you think of this whole thing, man? And uh, with uh, like, you know, look, I've been a Trump guy the whole time. And even though I don't like all of his policies, I like the fact that he's just upsetting everyone in, in politics. But this whole thing where he made that Second Amendment comment to Hillary, are people overreacting to that or? What was the Second Amendment comment again? What was the exact He comment? said something to the effect, he's talking about, you know, Hillary's going to ch- change something, and uh, he's like, there's nothing that can be done about it. Well, you know, you Second Amendment people, maybe. Like, it was like a weird, un- like kind of a half-joke, half-implication that, you know, about shooting her or something. It was a really fucking bizarre moment. Um, and then you could almost feel him shift gears to get out of it. Like, I think he knew that he fucked up. Yeah, well, you know, he's used to talking shit. I mean, that's that's what he does. He talks shit. He says crazy things, and then people go, oh, he's so outrageous. He's basically using the same strategy that got him a lot of attention on that, you know, your fired show. What right. the fuck yeah, is The Apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> the your fired show. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's what he's doing. He's, he's, just, he's being the same guy. I mean, that's what he does. So now we're seeing it in, in politics, and I don't think he has any other gears. I mean, that's... That's his thing. His thing is being offensive and and getting people to uh, step back and go. That Donald just says what's on his mind. <laughs> right. But to say, you know, uh, well, maybe you Second Amendment people. That's like saying you can shoot her. Yeah. Go shoot her. That's crazy. It is kind of crazy. Person. He makes it hard to support him. Like again, I, because I hate the system and I want to see the head lopped off if, if, if theoretically, but he's making it really hard because he's not even like a like a Bernie or a Ross Perot who, like, who feels outside the system but still kind of works. He's just saying things that I'm like, ah, I just can't get behind that. It's just, it's annoying. No, he's, he's, he's saying a lot of really foolish things. I mean, that's part of his appeal is that he's saying a lot of really foolish things and people like it. And that's, that's one of the things that I don't like the most about Donald Trump is the people that are really excited about him. Yeah, there's a lot of them. You know, it, it's funny. There are they're split down the middle, though. It's like there's a lot of them who are really people are like like a lot of the racists like him. Um, yeah. But again, a lot of the a lot of other people like Hillary too. Like the the the, the uh, pulse shooter's father was just behind her at a rally, cheering for her. You know, they all attract shitty people. Yeah. Uh, right, but he's right. just making it hard. You do about that. He's making it hard, man, and, and it's like I don't want it to be this hard, but these are our choices. You know, we, we have— They're not good choices, yeah. It's a, it, you know what it is, man? It's that there's a bunch of people that they just, they just seem like assholes that like him. And it's not, I'm not saying all assholes sure. like him. A lot of my friends support him. Um, the, what I'm saying is that there's like this bully mentality that's going on behind his supporters that I've never seen in politics before. Like, we're going to win, and there's not a fucking thing you could do about it. And they, like, get in people's faces. It's very bizarre. It's like there's there's a bully thing going on that I've never seen before in politics. Like, uh, there was this this video of Ted Cruz. I don't know if you've seen it, but Ted Cruz was uh, at a rally before he dropped out of the race. He was, like, right about to drop out. Yes. And um, there's this Trump guy who's standing in front of him with a Trump sign at this rally, and he's got sunglasses on, you know, and he's like, just drop out, Ted, it's over, it's over, drop out. And it's like, there's there's something about the way he's doing it. And I'm like, this is a different kind of political supporter. It's like the asshole white man supporter, you know what I mean? Like, hey, we finally got one of our own in, a fucking white asshole. (laughs) It's... There's something about him that's getting people excited that, like, it's it's really possible that someone who's a real piece of shit might become president if they get behind him. Yeah, that guy, I remember that guy, and he it, it almost felt like he was trolling him, but in person. Yeah, and like, uh, but right in front of his face with sunglasses on for no reason. And Ted Cruz, in that moment, I was never a Ted Cruz fan, although I liked the fact that he wouldn't support Trump because he didn't like him. It's good. If you don't like the guy, fuck him. Don't support him. But I, I, I liked that Ted Cruz thought he was going to win. Cause these guys can all win you over. Like, they're all such charismatic talkers. They're very used to standing there and putting their hand on someone's shoulder and that person melting and going, oh, my God, I hated you, but now I love you. And uh, he was going to try to win that guy over with his charisma. And that guy was just an obnoxious fucking troll who just hated him and wasn't going to give it to him. Yeah, it was weird to watch. It was really weird to watch because I I, I remember remember in that moment feeling like Ted Cruz squirm. I was like, ah, oh, I can't believe I feel like this, but that poor bastard, I actually, <laughs> I, I actually feel bad for him.